2,300 unclaimed dead bodies being donated to a university in Texas. What's wrong with that? Seem normal to me. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. So the University of North Texas Health Science Center has been getting donated unclaimed dead bodies since 2019, over 2,300 to be exact. I think that's kind of necessary. I, I got a question. What happens to unclaimed dead bodies if somebody die and they don't have no family? and nobody claims them and it's been a certain amount of time, what's supposed to happen? What What is it that everybody expects to happen? Because I thought it was, I mean, I would think it was just one thing that was gonna happen. They was gonna cremate the body or bury the bodies somewhere or something. I don't know. I really never gave it no thought. But to hear that 2,300 bodies was given to a, a medical uh, research facility or a school in, in Texas to do research on the bodies and stuff seemed same pretty normal until I found out that they were selling these body parts to other universities and making money off of these dead people. <laughs> I don't know if that is going to sit right with me. How, is that right? Can that be done? Like... You might wonder what, what I'm talking about. And, and yeah, that can be done, and that's normal and all that, but I, I don't know. I don't think so. Because a couple things come to mind. Okay, yeah, it's, it's bodies, right? What should be done with the bodies? If there's bodies all across the country that's unclaimed, then what 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 should be done? They should be donated for research and we could figure out how to make better uh, artificial limbs or we can, I, it's one thing to be an organ don donor, but it's a whole nother thing to like send my arm somewhere so they can like make a mechanical arm just like it or something. That's different to me. I don't know. That's different than just being an organ donor. Well, anyway, what, what, what am I talking about? Well, like I said, this um, university in Dallas has been doing some some stuff. And right now we're going to play a video. I'll be. We're going to play a video on them and we're going to see what's happening with them. So check this out. Victor Carl Honey was a U.S. military veteran who served in the Army for nearly a decade. He was very friendly. He was outgoing, a nice dresser. After being honorably discharged, he began struggling with mental illness and homelessness. Then in 2022, oh, he died of an apparent heart attack while living alone on the streets of Dallas. <laughs> Honey was entitled to a burial with military honors, but instead, something else happened. I think they think homeless black man, you know, he ain't got no family. They don't care about him. You were wrong about this one. An NBC News investigation has found that Honey was among more than 2,300 people who died in the Dallas-Fort Worth region and were given to a state medical school that used and made money off their body parts, at times as their own families searched for them. For Honey, within a month of his death, the Dallas Medical Examiner's Office deemed him unclaimed, reporting phones for family members they tried were disconnected. And yet, he did have relatives, some living right there in Dallas. His ex-wife Kimberly and their two adult children say they had even visited Honey in a hospital months prior to his death. To hear that your ex-husband has been deemed an unclean person, what, what's your reaction to that? That's crazy. We're here. We've always been here. His son has his same name. How could he be unclaimed? This is where Victor Honey's body was then taken, the University of North Texas Health Science Center, where according to government documents, his body was then frozen, cut into pieces, and sent out to different medical groups across the country, all without his prior consent or his family's knowledge. 
Those documents show Honey's severed right leg sent to a Swedish medical device maker for $341. His torso shipped to a medical education company in Pittsburgh, which paid $900. And for $210, a pair of bones from his skull went to the U.S. Army for military medical training. His right leg was sold. Yes, ma'am. His temporal bone, his torso. Yes, ma'am. Do you think he would have wanted this? No, he never wanted to be... The 10 years we were married, he never wanted to be an organ donor. We talked about it. And Honey is not alone. NBC News reviewed thousands of pages of government records and data which reveal repeated failures to reach family members before declaring a body unclaimed. Our team has identified 12 cases in which families learned months or years later that a loved one had been provided to the medical school. Five of those families found out what happened from NBC News, including Honey's, a year and a half after his death. I don't believe they tried to find us. I don't believe they did. You can find people. NBC found me in a day. You can find people. Why do you think they did it? For money. They did it to him, a decorated military veteran. They'll do it to anybody. And that's not okay. For five years, the University of North Texas Health Science Center has had agreements with Dallas and Tarrant counties to take their unclaimed bodies for free, saving them a combined million dollars a year in cremation and burial costs. It also helped the school, making it about $2.5 million a year by leasing body parts to outside groups, according to financial records. Somebody needs to answer, or somebody's, for what they, what they did, what they're doing. For 10 months, our team has been seeking answers from both counties and the Health Science Center. All three declined our repeated requests for interviews, but in statements, the counties told us they would be reviewing their contracts. The Health Science Center at first defended its program, arguing using unclaimed bodies is critical in the training of future doctors. But just days before this story was set to air, it made a stunning reversal, telling NBC News it was suspending the program and firing the top officials who led it. Writing in a statement, as a result of the information brought to light through your inquiries, it has become clear that failures existed. They're hiring a consulting firm to investigate the program's operations. My kids want answers. They want justice for their dad. Honey's family recently received ashes that the county told them were his. We don't believe those are his ashes, but we gave him and did what he deserved as a decorated military veteran. And so this summer, nearly two years after he died, the family finally laid honey to rest. You would think in this day's time, this doesn't happen here in America. But yeah, it does. It did. Liz, is this a common practice? Well, Lester, it's actually legal in nearly every single state nationwide, but there's no national data that tracks it, which is why we conducted our own survey. We reached out to 51 major U.S. medical centers to try to get a sense of how pervasive this actually is. We will bring the results of that survey in a story coming up soon here on Nightly News. Very troubling and disturbing. Liz, thanks for So you heard what she said, bro. It's legal in all these different states. They do this. It's just, they just don't keep record. They don't keep data of it. So, you know what I mean? And, and what you just saw is what I know about it, right? But I think motherfuckers need to, I don't know, what you need to check on your people because they, 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 they chopping people up and selling them all across the country, all across the world. You know what I mean? And I ain't know that was legal. I knew, I mean, I thought like when you, you ain't no organ donor. They can't mess with your body after you die. You know what I mean? I don't care if don't nobody claim you. You got to you gotta abide by what I wanted. And I didn't want to be an organ donor. And I think organ donor should mean limb donor. You can't sell my fingers or my bones in my skull or my teeth or my legs or my kneecaps or none of that. No. And, and then if you're selling this stuff, why I mean my people should got that money. <laughs> you gonna so you gonna sell my arm for a hundred and twenty dollars and then my my kids don't get that money? At least my kids should split the damn money. Like I don't know. That this story is crazy. And and I just wonder I just wonder how many where this was just Dallas, but that's just Dallas. What about the rest of the state of Texas, or how about the other states in America? How many places are 
carrying on these practices. And then you see they was denying it. They said, nah, we, what we doing is good. We ain't, we ain't breaking up. And then they came back and said, oh, we shutting down everything and we firing the top dogs in this because we figure like, feel like they was doing something they shouldn't have been, basically, because they know there's some lawsuits coming off of this because that ain't right. This ain't right. I don't know how or how, how people could think this was right or how long it's been going on. It's probably been going on so long, like, and I, I don't know. I just don't. I feel some type of way about that. Like she said, they they never tried to reach her. How, how he got a son, how he got a junior, but y'all say y'all couldn't find no family. And all I keep thinking about is how many people don't even know where they people's at. And they people's done been chopped up and shipped all over the place. Not not able to have a proper burial. And, and they ain't informed nobody. And they don't. And they said they making two point three million dollars a year or something off of this, um, distributing body parts. Like, bro, that's crazy. And then they ain't even just selling them; they leasing them. So you can you can have this arm for three months and send it back, and then we're going to lease it out to somebody else. Whole time they ain't even tried to contact the family or the person and let them know that they peoples is dead. That's great, man. I don't, that just don't make no sense. It'd be a whole lot of stories out here, and, and they just be sliding by. And these people out here just doing whatever they want. And I can imagine it was Texas, so I can imagine it was a bunch of immigrants. You know what I mean? Like, maybe illegals or whatever. And then it's like people, they just don't care. So let alone this veteran who his family didn't even find out until a year and a half, I think they said, a year and a half after he was dead. And they only found out because CBS did this story where well, somebody else was, or something, they found out by watching the TV and watching the story. And then they contacted them like, hold on, you said 2,300? So how about Carl Honey? Is he on that list that went unclaimed? And they like, oh, yeah, he was. And I'm um, sorry to inform you, but we sent this body to, here and then they sold his arm over here and sold his torso for nine hundred dollars to these people and sold his leg to these people. Like what? But then they said they sent him they sent them his ashes. Like they they expect them to believe that that was his ashes after you just told me you just chopped his body. So where you get the ashes from? They these people don't care, man. These people don't care, man. They they all about that dollar. It's all about that moolah. And that's I, I'm. A, it just always it's gonna lead me back to how many facilities out here is doing this. This this is this got to be going on everywhere. But the thing is, is what else do we do with unclaimed bodies? What what do you do with an unclaimed dead body? Because it's gonna eventually cost the state or whatever to cremate or bury these unclaimed bodies, especially if it's hundreds of them. And then when you present it with an opportunity saying the local university need bodies to do research on and, and, and to teach these up and coming doctors you like, that's a no-brainer, right? But I think it's just unethical to set, maybe you shouldn't sell the body parts if you wasn't in, able to get in touch with the people. So you can just, I don't know what, only people that's willing to be donated to this should do this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the answer, but th this is the shit that's happening. 
this is this is the shit that's going on with motherfuckers that think people don't know better, so they they won't find out, and they won't look into this because whatever they think people don't have family. I don't know what it is, but. They say money is the root of all evil. <laughs> I think this is an evil way of getting money, man. You gonna just sell me and don't don't give my This is crazy. I bet you one thing, they got some lawsuits on their ass. I bet you I bet you they about to go twenty if twenty three hundred families come forward and say something, it's on. They about to get paid because the first sign is they done fired. They saying they firing all these people because they know they fucked up. You know you done fucked up, don't you? They know they did. Sad, man. People just be out here moving crazy, doing anything, man, for that dollar. And they be people that motherfuckers might look up to like, oh, you the CEO of a health research facility and you doing dirt scheming but like I said that's what y'all saw is pretty much all I got I'm waiting to hear more about this and um, see see where this go I thought it was something that it was something that came across my desk I thought people should know about so I wanted to you know what I mean but anyway thank you for tuning in like comment subscribe I'll let you next time. Thank you. Peace.